Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds if you guys don't want school tomorrow. The Foundation Mech Robot is now in Fortnite and I'm super excited to bring you guys all the latest updates, new Season 2 Battle Pass skin leaks, some changes it will bring for Season 2 and much, much more. This video is jam-packed with information, so make sure you guys are watching to the very end. But real quick, 86.1% of you watching this right now are not subscribed, which means you're missing out on a free gift from me. I give five of my subscribers every single day to people who do drop a like on the video turn on all notifications and leave a comment with your epic id down below and remember if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself please do consider using my support credit code apple one it literally takes one second to put into the item shop and it is the best way to support me that extra mile hopefully you guys do going to enjoy the video though but let's get into it so first up, we're talking about the Season 2 Battle Pass skins, and honestly, this is going to be the craziest Battle Pass we've ever seen. Starting off with the Tier 100 skin is looking to be the Origin skin, a new member of the Seven seen on the most recent skin survey, and it actually does have a style that works out great for a progressive Tier 100 skin, which I am super, super excited to unlock, bro. The skin looks amazing. EA Skate Concepts, my designer over on Twitter, has recreated the skin from scratch of just an image, and it looks amazing. Let me guys know in the comment section below what you guys do think about the Origin skin. And if you guys didn't know, the whole of the Season 1 Battle Pass was from a skin survey, which was pretty cool. And it looks like Season 2 will have the same idea. With concept skin surveys literally coming out every single month, the next skin is looking to be this skin, which we originally thought was going to be a new Nintendo bundle. But it looks like it's actually going to be a Battle Pass skin with a completely different style, which would work perfectly for the bonus rewards. And I'm not going to lie, the skin actually does look really, really fire. And the style we're going to be getting with her as well looks absolutely amazing. And for our next Battle Pass skin, it might be a Tiger skin. As you guys know, Fortnite like adding at least one silly skin into every single Battle Pass. With the Season 1 Battle Pass skin being Lieutenant John Lama, it looks like this Tiger skin will be our next silly skin inside of Season 2. And I'm not going to lie, I'm super hyped to see this skin. It looks absolutely amazing. We Maybe even a blue style as well. A blue Tiger style would look absolutely awesome. But we could also be seeing this skin come as well as it does kind of fit the style of a battle pass skin but that is just my guess in personal opinion but we could also be seeing some pretty crazy io skins seven skins come with a few concepts going around twitter as well of an agent jonesy and a dr sloan in a seven armor style which looks amazing which i think would be an amazing battle pass skin as well and also in even a seven styled queen cube which i think would be so so sick because obviously next season is going to be the io versus the seven so we could be getting some pretty amazing designs for these skins as well you never know what Fortnite do have in plan for us but now it's time to talk about the secret skin for season two season one secret skin was spider-man that everyone was so hyped about but next season's is looking to be obi-wan kenobi as his new disney plus series streams exactly 60 days after the season starts giving it perfect timing for him to come as the secret skin as usually secret skins come out 60 days after the season begins and for Fortnite and Disney Plus actually do have a contract where they can add skins from new shows just like we see in the Boba Fett and Fennec Shan come from the Book of Boba Fett series and also recently near Christmas we got Hawkeye from his new series on Disney Plus as well but Obi-Wan Kenobi will be season 2's secret skin which I'm going to be absolutely amazing with a general Kenobi style as well and a lightsaber pickaxe which I cannot wait for hence why Fortnite have updated and added the lightsaber effects all back into the files ready for his arrival which is going to be amazing and we'll also be seeing him come as a mythic boss of wandering around the map as well which i imagine is his mythic weapon will be the lightsaber which i cannot wait for and probably some sort of force push ability which will be pretty cool with the bat bling being a bit different than normal his droid r4p17 that will actually follow him around on the floor it won't be attached to your back it'll just follow you around on the floor which is going to be absolutely amazing just like the baby yoda does in his cradle he follows you behind you. So it's going to be pretty cool with his bat bling. I'm not quite sure how it's going to obstruct our view because baby Yoda, bro, when you jump, it's a bit hard to see. So I'm excited to see how this droid does work out. Enough said with the battle pass, though. It's time to talk about the live event and the foundation robot. So quick reminder, this event will be going down on the 19th of March, which will most likely go down at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just like every other live event we've had in the past. And here are all the other time zones for you guys so you don't miss out on it. And PlayStation should soon be adding an event 
have for this new event, just like they did with the Galactus event and other events in the past. So be on the lookout if you guys are on PlayStation for this brand new event tab. And we'll all need to try and get into the Fortnite servers at least one hour early because then the live event playlist is expected to go live 30 minutes before the event starts. And there is only a limited amount of players that can actually get on the servers at once. And being the ending of chapter two, the servers are going to be pretty busy for this live event. So make sure you guys are getting in one hour early. But in the most recent update, we were given with new earthquake files with them happening all around the map right now. And it looks like we will be seeing our very first map change come very, very soon over near Tilted Towers, where this little building will get destroyed with the brand new earthquakes. And this could possibly mean that these earthquakes, we could be seeing the foundation statue break and see the foundation mech come out of it, which is going to be a really, really sick. With the live event starting in just three weeks time, it would make perfect sense and perfect timing for the foundation robot to actually come into the game, which I am super, super excited about. But with the foundation robot on the island, it looks like we'll be seeing a new devour monster get uncovered very, very soon as well, as the IO are currently drilling under the map, causing these earthquakes, trying to find this new monster, as we do have audio files of a new monster underneath the map. And the final update for Season 1 is set to go live next Tuesday, with every single live event leak, including a new monster in the files, a brand new live event timer, and a load of coding of what's going to happen in the live event. So make sure you guys are subscribing because we'll be covering everything. I mean everything on this brand new live event when this update does go live on the 1st of March next Tuesday. It's going to be a big one. So make sure you guys are subscribing. But it is confirmed that it looks like Midas will be implemented into this live event as well somehow. As in the most recent update, a code name for a new POI called DD Machine is expected to get added very, very soon. Most likely coming in next week's update. And this is also known as the Doomsday Machine. So it looks like the Doomsday device will be getting implemented into this live event somehow. And at the start of the season, you may have noticed his own restaurant off the coast of the Chapter 3 Island. And inside here, you guys can actually find the official blueprints for the device he used in the Doomsday event that pushed back the storm. So expect an updated version of the Doomsday device coming in this live event, which is going to be really, really cool. But in the files, a data miner has found that there are new files linking straight towards the zero point itself that's called Dark Tower. And no, this isn't the Spire from Season 6. This is something completely new that will seal the zero point when it does get exposed by the Catas monster, which is going to be really, really cool. And we're going to be seeing something very interesting about this because it has been leaked very soon. So it looks like it's going to be a big deal inside the Season 2. Let me guys know in the comment section below what you guys think this is going to look like because it is going to be pretty amazing. And at the end of this live event, the map will be destroyed. But I mean quite a lot, bro. It's going to be destroyed quite a bit with the monster and the robots battling it out, bringing some pretty crazy map changes for Season 2, with the first map change being over at the Daily Bugle. This was a POI for the Spider-Man collab strictly for Season 1, and will most likely be getting hit by a missile or something in the event, destroying it and turning it into a brand new POI for Season 2, possibly even a new 7 location, as we do know the Paradigm will be coming back to the island, and this is where she originally built the mech suit, so I am very, very excited to see what they do add inside of this volcano. It's going to be pretty cool. Let me guys know in the comment section below. But we'll also be seeing a new IO base as well with the earthquakes look to be slowly destroying Covert Cavern, unfortunately. I didn't want it to go, but it looks like it might be going, unfortunately, which I really, really didn't hope. But we'll also be seeing a whole new biome. When the monster locates a zero point as exposes it, we'll be seeing a whole new section of the map. We're not sure what it's going to look like, but when Galactus exposes zero point back in Chapter 2 of Season 4, it actually did create a random desert with sinking sand to protect itself from any intruder and it looks like we'll be seeing something similar for this season as well which is going to be insane obviously it's not going to be a desert biome as we've already seen that and we've actually got a desert biome on the island so maybe even like a lava biome or something which i think will be pretty cool let me guys know in the comment section below what you guys think of this brand new biome is going to look like but those are all the brand new things we know coming in season two the live events and the season two battle pass bro the battle pass is going to be pretty insane i'm very excited for the origin to release. Let me guys know in the comment section below what you guys think about it. Let me guys know as well if you guys are excited for the brand new live event because it is going to be absolutely amazing. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Remember, if you guys are new around here, make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button. We're going for 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please do consider using my support credit code Apple One. As it literally takes one second to put into the item shop and it is the best way to support me that extra mile. Hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.
Uh, uh. 